Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover five things that you can do right now, today, start doing today, that can help you start making extra cash as a website designer. So these five things that I'm gonna go over right now are five things that I've been doing over the last two years and I'm gonna tell you which ones I have found to be most profitable and the most useful in different cases and different scenarios. So number one on the list is YouTube. You're literally watching one of my videos right now that I publish on YouTube, thank you by the way. This video is a great way to earn extra income and on this video you could do a few things to earn extra income. Number one, you could start to make Google AdSense. You can make money from YouTube. That's like the dream for a lot of people, but that's the first way. Another way is affiliate marketing. And another way is just helping solve people's problems. If you solve people's problems, they may call you or message you to solve bigger problems that they'll pay you for. So with YouTube, there's a few ways you can make money. And that's honestly just the tip of the iceberg. But YouTube is a great way to get yourself out there in front of more people to earn extra cash. Number two, affiliate marketing. You've probably heard of this as a website designer, but it is important to really start to consider what tools you use consistently and what tools you recommend to other people and see if they have an affiliate marketing program. The thing that I do is I just have a tools page on my website. And so anytime I find a tool that has an affiliate program and I like the tool, I just add it to that page. And then in the future, if I ever recommend it, I just go grab the link and then send it to whoever is asking. At the end of the video, I am gonna cover which of these five produce the most cash flow for me. But for now, let me just continue to go through the five and then we'll get there. Number three is gonna be commissions and white labeling. Both of these are actually quite separate. They're quite different, but I think they're both worth mentioning right now because they offer a similar benefit. With commissions, you just ask for a commission if you end up sharing work with someone else. Say, hey, I'll pass work to you for 10% of the final project fee, or I'll pass work to you for an initial amount for $200, for $500, whatever that is. White labeling as well is really useful to other people. Say they're doing a service, you have a service that they don't do. Well, you could say, hey, I'll offer you white label pricing, a discounted price, so that you could either charge that price or charge more and make the difference in between. So in either case, you're just going to other agencies, other people and offering your services to them or offering work to them. And honestly, I always believe there's more than enough work in the world for us to all get more than enough work. So if you're out there kind of worried about that, I wouldn't be worried about that. I go make relationships with people like, hey, we don't design websites right now, but we do a lot of SEO work. So if we get a design client, I would love to send them your way. And then you tell me kind of what you like, what you prefer, and I'll send them to you. And then if you get SEO work, you should definitely check out our services. I'll give you a discount for them, all of that. We do that in full. We have partnerships with agencies and other freelancers and we do work for other designers all the time number four this is three parts in one content seo and guest blogging basically could be summed up in the same way but you could publish these things in different ways so you could publish articles on medium you could publish articles on linkedin you could publish articles on your own blog but the reason you want to do that is not necessarily because those and they may but those will generate a ton of cash flow for you but it'll give you the option for other people to see your work and say, hey, can you guest post on our blog or can you publish an article on our blog? We do that all the time. We do guest posts for really substantial brands because literally we have content on our site. Since we have content on our site, other people say, oh, they know how to write content and they can see what we do. And a pro tip here, if you do the YouTube side, you can turn everything you do on YouTube into content. That's what we do. We have a whole system built out for it and it works like magic. Literally, we have so much content that gets uh, exponentially bigger and wider in its reach. So when I record this video for what, 10, 15 minutes, it becomes multiple pieces of content that then can go and and help other people in so many different ways. If they're searching on Google, if they're searching on YouTube, if they're searching on LinkedIn, if they're searching on Medium, 
they can end up finding us. And number five, digital products. Oh, the infamous passive income generator. Digital products are great because they give people an entry point into your world of work. If someone's very interested, they might not be able to afford what you can offer, but it could be a great entry point. And I think it's always good to value your time at the highest level and then give people different options below that. So in this case, a good example would be an, for my SEO services. So I have a free video on YouTube that walks people through SEO. It gets them up and running. It's kind of like a, a kickstart. Then I have a 30 to 40, maybe a $50 product on our website. That's an SEO starter kit. It's a digital download. And then we have an SEO course that's $150. And then on top of that, we have our SEO services, which is uh, like $400 and $800 right now. And then if you want custom SEO work from me, it's going to start at around $1,500 to $2,000. So if somebody has a really big website or they have multiple locations or they have a lot that they need covered, they'll contact me and the initial audit starts at $15 to about two, maybe $2,500. And then for someone who wants in-depth SEO coverage, it starts at $7K. So every single price point I've covered on my SEO front from a digital product all the way to the, the most custom SEO work. And that entire spectrum gives anyone who comes to me and is interested an option to buy. Now, let me just cover which ones produce the most revenue and I'll kind of just generalize because it's really hard to, to show these off. So for YouTube, that's probably the one that generates the most income for me. Number one, because I make money on Google AdSense, which is about $1,000 to $1,500 a month right now. And then on top of that, people find me and message me for $15,000, $20,000 projects. And then they find work on my site. They buy digital downloads, digital, digital products. So the YouTube content is a great way to scale my impact and scale my business. Affiliate marketing works well, decently well, especially when I do SEO work because I recommend like people to get chat features on their site. So I use an affiliate link for that. I actually really recommend the chat feature. And so I just happen to use the affiliate link and that produces great cash flow too if people do sign up and use it on their site. Further, the commissions and white labeling, I would probably say the order is kind of exactly in order, except digital products might be a little higher. So YouTube would be number one, affiliate would be number two. I would say digital products is number three. Digital products are great because literally I could create a digital product in a week, get it up and running on my site and never have to do anything about it. If I create new content on that same subject, I could upload it and add it, great. But literally those hours that I spent last week on the product is now, I'll never have those hours back, but I never have to worry about those hours again. And it will continue to create money for me in the future, which I think is awesome. Whether it produces $150 or $1,000 or $2,500 a month, whatever that number is, it's great because it's just there and it's already ready for someone to use when they are ready. The guest blogging, it doesn't produce cash flow as much as it produces social proof, which is it gets me in front of more people, it builds up my SEO, and it shows my credibility. I think all of that is like fire and gold, so I, I am totally for it, because sometimes you gotta take an L with the credibility, and then from there you can go and take the next step, because now you look more credible. Hey, I have published content on 20 platforms, on 10 platforms, on five platforms, whatever it is, you then have the ability to show off who you are as an expert across your domain because you have guest posts. And then yeah, the commission white labeling, I would, I kind of say the digital products and commission and white labeling is kind of the same because the projects I commission out or, or get a commission for and the white labeling services produces consistent cash flow. Like if I just had that, I would live fine. Um, but we have all of them. And that's what I recommend too. start with one, build it out, give yourself a month or two, get it going, get it up and running, and then go on to the next one. YouTube is consistent because we constantly publish content, but all the other ones, you just got to get up and running and then you consistently update them here and there and you're good to go. So if you're looking to become a website designer on Squarespace, check out the link below. I do have a designer starter kit, which is a digital download that you can check out right now to get you up and running. It's a tool I wish I had when I started. It includes my proposal, tips and tricks, how to build confidence on sales calls, how to boost your price on sales calls as well. All of that includes all the details I wish I had when I started. If you got value from today's video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, drop it down below. And if you want more content like this, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.